So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream, uh, live Tuesdays, I beg your pardon, live Mondays. I wanted to sort out my watercolours for going away. Um, and I have quite a few in little pans, but I also have my, which are professional watercolours, I have my, my Cotman Winsor Newton Cotman, which are student grade, but they're still very, very good quality. Um, and they're a very good price as well. I also have a collection now of professional watercolours. I bought two lots. The others were in sets of other things that I bought. So if you buy second-hand brushes in a, in a kind of set of watercolour papers and all sorts of watercolour things, you do find them. Um, I did buy these set, this set because this is my my perfect set, um, which, if I can get that the right way around, this is the set that I like to use for making every colour on the planet, um, which is a lemon yellow, Cadmium yellow, cadmium red, Elysian crimson, uh, French ultramarine, and cerulean blue. And from these six primaries, two of each, you can get any colour on the planet. Uh, and I love colour mixing, but sometimes if I'm out and about, or if I'm at the hospital, I don't really want to be faffing. Um, I want to just open a, open a tin, open the colour book, and colour. So I had quite a few, I had all these loose um, professional watercolours and again a lot were, bought, were already bought. Um, I don't think I bought any, I think I bought six. Uh, the rest of them have been in a set of something or other, even this set was second hand. Um, this was in a set um, and so was this, in some, some vintage watercolour things that I'd got. Um, I did buy these particular ones. These are Cotman, so these are not professional. So I was going to put those back into here. Then I realised that, that there's nearly 50 there and there's only 42 spaces. If I fill the middle, I'd used to fill the middle as well. Now normally, traditionally, you'd put your pans on the outside and the middle would be for the paintbrushes. Uh, but being a bit of a greedy girl, I kind of filled the whole lot and they all fit in. So... So here I have half pans, so two half pans fits a, a full pan. So you can fit either into these watercolour sets. You can, oh, sorry, you can get those in the middle, but the little half pans go in these like that. So you can buy the full pans. Now, I love my Gansey Tambi watercolours, but I never use them, ever, out of here. I think I've used them once. And the second time I've used them, I put the colour into little, little pans of colour from my watercolour book. So, I love using them out of here. And I've made little fat puddles of colour. Now, they're very, very strong colours. Sorry, bunnies are having a moment. They're very strong colours, so little fat puddles last a long time. And I love the greens, so I use the greens <coughs> excuse me, with the reds from my peerless. So I can mix and match colours, and I quite like to do that most of the time. But every time I pick this up, I drop it. So I just wanted to show that these pans are huge. But there's only a couple of millimetres colour, so don't think you get in tonnes. So you can get two full pans. You probably, I would say, is there's one full pan in there if you've filled it completely, because there's not much colour in the bottom. It's just a thin layer. But they're still gorgeous colours, they are still professional watercolours. I love the colours, it's just every time I pick this silly tray up, I drop it. So I was having a look to see if this pan could fit. And and unfortunately, if, it, if these were that way around, so if you can find a 
if you can find a palette that has the big pans long, uh, long ways, then it's the same width, probably two and a half to three. Let me have a look. Yeah, about two and a half. So if you can find um, one of these that has the pans long ways. Now these fit in here, but they fit sideways. But if you find something that has it long ways, you can find, you can get your Kansai Tambi watercolours into a palette with a lockable lid. And so you, when every time you drop this, they go everywhere. So I love the I love them, but I hate the fact that they're in this wooden box tray that just drops and falls out um, every time you look at them. So I don't tend to use them in that form. I, I may have to see if I can find one that will get fit these in. I'm sure we have one somewhere. So again, you put this lid on and it's wonderful. I mean, I did the colour swatch. But every time I drop them, and again, I've got them very dusty because they sit and I don't use them. So it's a bit of a waste. Gorgeous colours and the gold is the best gold ever. Unfortunately, the gold is the only in the full set, but they have come down in price a bit. Now, one thing I do use, which I have bobbed somewhere, is I have an elastic band because every time you move, this will fall off. So now when I drop it, at least they're not going to go everywhere. So I'm just going to pop those up there the way. So I love those, but they're not going to be my travel set. So I have this pan set here. So just move these. Now I thought I was being really clever uh, a couple of years ago. And I put all my little pans of my professional watercolours that I had in this tray I put them in this stay wet tray um, and I also made a little plastic flap so that it would be a palette but it would also hold my professional tubes of watercolours now they're still tacky and they're stuck to the top of this if you can see it doesn't matter I can still use it but it's a bit of a pest um, and I have my hydras in here, so I think I want to take these out and reveal all the yumminess underneath. Now the hydras dries. Oh, sorry about the bunnies, they're just having a moment. Now these have actually dried, the others have remained tacky. Um, so I've put these professional watercolours on the top. And I want to start using these again, so I need to take these out. So a few years ago, um, a couple of years ago, I bought three lots of these watercolours um, for a, a, a giveaway, but I failed terribly. <gasps> Sorry. They just have a run around. So this one... I've been using this one and I really like it. Sorry, I haven't used this one. This one is the 48 set. So they all come in little plastic packages to keep them kind of protected. And they all have the colours written on them. And I really like this set. It's got everything you need. And there's 48 and they're about £29. Um, and you have a good size palette. So if you want to do wet washes, this is what the deep wells are for. And then on the other side, you've got the thinner wells for, for your colour mixing. And you have the space here for your paintbrush. So it's a really nice, handy size. You have so many colours that you don't really need to do any colour mixing if you don't need to. Um, and I love that. So, But I originally bought it to cut these in half and put them in my little book of watercolours for a giveaway. But the... Some of them don't cut in half. Um, whether it, my set originally I had, I could do that with, because it was about 20 years old, I'm not sure. But I could cut all mine a couple of millimetres and put them in my little block of watercolours. Um, I tried and tried and I nearly lost my fingers, so I don't, um, I don't, 
promote that anymore because it's really dangerous. Um, so I ended up with three because I was going to cut one in half um, and I needed four so that would be two sets and then I was going to buy the pans to fill up with watercolour. But the third one they sent me had full pans in. Now I love these these colours and they are Cotman student grade but even these are tacky so there's a lot of pigment in these um, and they're very very good quality so I'm going to start I'm going to start using that one again but what I wanted to do is obviously I've opened that one I'm going to give that one to my daughter oops sorry now this one um, I'm going to take these out so I've taken a photograph of what order they're in because I'm I probably remember, but I may not. And I can put these safe because they're all in little plastic. They're all wrapped up in plastic, all safe. So I can put them somewhere else. Um, and I think there's 48 because there is a little lip. You can see the little ridge. But what I want to do is to force an extra one in. Now you can do it. We'll have to see how we get on. So I'm going to put these somewhere safe. I need a little kind of carry. Oh, I know what I can do. Sorry about the noise. I can put them in here. So I'm going to take all these out of here. And they won't be wasted. I will be using them. And when I've, when I've used the big set of four pans, in dominoes. If you tip this upside down, they shouldn't fall out. So you have to, they're just clipped in with that little, that little ridge there. It's just holding them in. And they fill with this on a couple. So, I can, sorry about the noise, I can put those safe. So I can get in here full pans. So even though it holds 24 full pans. So if I wanted to put my professional tubes in here, these are full pans. So it's exactly the same case and you can see that they, that, that they should go in there because they go in that one. Yeah. It's, I don't know why. Oh, maybe they're smaller. Oh, these are too big. Oh, that's not good. These are not the Winsor Newton ones, so they're not, they won't fit in there. Oh, they will fit in there. So I need to take those back because they won't fit in. <laughs> right. So that's no good for there. Oopsie. So they will go in the middle of that one. So where's the other one going? I wonder if they're going this one. Yep, they're going that one. So the Windsor Newton one, so they will go in that one. Oh, well, that's okay, then I can put them in that one. So they will go in that one, and they'll go in the middle, and then you can squidge one at the end there. My fingers are not really strong enough. These move about a bit on this tray. So I, at least I can use them in there, otherwise I'd have to take them back. They're not tapered like the the ones in the, the Windsor and Newton one are tapered. I can't get that one out now, but never mind. Come on, pop out. I know you want to. There we go. So it's not a waste. I can use them. I just can't use them in here. Um, oops, but I have this set. So I'll use this set and then I can put 
the original ones back into here because they will fit either one. So these are the same size, it's just these I've just bought. They're not tapered at the ends. So you see there's a they're not tapered. So that's something to watch. I didn't know that. So that gives me the 24 pans of student grade. Um, but let me get rid of those. I also got 36 little ones as well. I mean, I do have a lot of paint, so they won't get wasted. I'm just going to bob those out of the way because they'll end up on the floor. Bit in my studio. So, what I want to do now, these are professionals and they're a bit sticky. So, what I want to do. Oh, the Jackson's Art Supply sells the Tambi watercolour. Well, I did buy these from Jackson's, so I may have to tell them that they don't fit in in the this where I want them. So what I want to do is, because I've mixed them all up, I'm just going to take them out and I'm just going to pop them down. Now, if you're not used to your colours, you can do a colour swatch. And they are a little bit sticky, but oh, the bunnies will not behave today. If it's not Alfie, it's bunnies. So Now when you buy professional ones from shops, they're always named. Um, and again, I bought some... Oopsie. So that means that I can I can spray that and start using it again now, and I can use that colour up, um, which is a little job that I wanted to do. And I've now done that. See if I could just push that on there. Right. So what I want to do is to put these in colour order. And mine are a bit gooey. I don't know why, but they're a bit gooey. So I'm going to put yellows on there. And this is not a stay wet palette. So I've got the reds here. And, and again, some of these have been used, but they are professional. So So I'm going to put my cold yellows at the front and my warm yellows at the back. And that's an orange. It can go there. That's a cold yellow. And then we've got greens. I'm going to pop greens there. So I'm going to put light greens at the top and dark greens. I've got blues. And really, you don't need this many. It's just I happen to have just collected these, as I say, over the years. We're buying second-hand job lots of watercolours. And if I want the paintbrush, you normally get the watercolours with them. And I found some wonderful things. You can't find good things anymore, and people are sometimes the opposite. So they used to give you more things, and nowadays I think people give you less. So they look like Elysian Crimsons. And I found that different companies, their Elysian Crimsons are slightly different. Um, so there we've got warm browns and cold browns. And another green. Um, a Van Dyke brown is obviously a dark one. It's going to be at the very back. My reddy brown's there. Oak is there. They look like Van Dyke browns there. Um, what's this one? like a brown that looks like a red brown and then we start to get where things are a bit dark so that says brown madder so brown mud is a red brown that one looks like a green that one says that's Windsor green that looks like it's a green viridian Uh, 
a nut brown. Um, I don't seem to have a black. No, I do have a black somewhere. That's sepia. And I think that's a blue. And again, because they're professional, they do get sticky. So I need a baby wipe, so apologies for the crunch. And that's the beauty of the others. You see all the colour that's come off. Now, if you buy um, the, the Cotman series, they're not quite as sticky and as messy, but they're still vibrant. Uh, and I have to say, for travel, I like the Cotman because they'll never go sticky. Well, I say never. <laughs> this one has got two, and that's because of the, the pigment. It's got such good pigment in. These three are sticky, and the, one of the reds is as well. Um, and it sticks, and that means that there's not a lot of binder in there. So that's why I'm saying, even though they are student grade and they're a bit cheaper, they really are very good quality. Um, same with the tubes. There's very little in it, I have to say. Um, it's just psychologically, it's nice to play with professional watercolours. So I'm going to have to do this. It's going to break my heart, but I'm going to have to just wipe the tops so this one is like a lemony yellow so I'm actually going to put mine instead of putting it where it's supposed to be in between these little ridges I'm actually going to force mine to the end because I do want to get I think I might have to so this it says viridian hue on it but I pinched pinch them to put my professional watercolour so some some of these I have put a few professional colours in before I got the last the last few so then that's a bit brighter and I'm making a bit of a pig's ear of this but the good thing is once it's done it's done so I think that's obviously like a gamboge. That looks like that one looks like um, a cadmium yellow. That looks like it's a gamboge. And the reason I'm doing this is I, think I need to push these up a bit. very messy in the other little pot so you need to keep them nice really they shouldn't be as messy as mine but I do intend to to use them in my colour book so it's not like I'm a professional artist doing work for anybody so it doesn't really matter um, so I want this pale one first in fact I actually want a white now I don't have a white but somewhere I should have a black and a white, which are professional, but I've never used them, so I don't put them in. I think they're in this one. And the reason, I love these little sets, and I like them, but I just I can't open them. I just, oops, can't open them. So there's a white, and there's a black. I'll leave that there. I prefer to make my own black. Well, I don't really use the black I like. But I think I'm going to put that one in there. Because watercolours, adding water to anything makes it paler anyway. So that's slightly warmer than that one. So we're going in my favourite colour order. But of course, you can put them in any colour you like. It doesn't have to be like mine. So I think that's um, the, the pale one. We've got a pale yellow, we've got um, a lemon yellow, and we've got, I think that, that could be cadmium. Probably a Windsor yellow. That one looks like a cadmium yellow. Then the next one is 
it's kind of like a gamboge and they both look the same though but I'm gonna I might just put that one in actually and leave that one out that looks like it's an orange and I don't have an orange and again you can see the ones that came out of this tin because they're the ones that have been used quite a lot oopsie so I think I'm gonna keep these out I think I'll keep these out and see how we get on for and unfortunately if you have lots of things like this you've got to faff about to get them in now that's probably better to buy the set that's already done I'm actually going to put them in the little niches so we'll do this and hopefully we'll get to the end <laughs> um, I'm going to have to put that one in because I don't have an orange so now I've got to look at the reds and I think that one's a bit paler than that one. So that one, I think, is a, a vermilion. Oh, yes, it's a vermilion. And then we start to get to the cads. Well, I know that's my cad red. Um, this one looks a little bit pinkier, that one. So it's almost like a rose madder. And then we have these. So that one's definitely Liz and Crimson. And that's uh, Winsor Newton Professional. This one is Elysium Crimson as well. So I'm going to put those in because they are slightly different, I think, those. That one looks like an Elysium Crimson. That's the one that I've put in, which is Elysium Crimson. But you might find that different companies use different, different makes. That one looks decidedly like that one so I think I'm going to leave that because I want the reds to be there and I want to start the next colour route there I think so we want blues next so the purple blues go here uh, that's the Windsor blue read that one. I think it's a darker one. The pale ones want to be at this end because I want to oops there isn't one that goes to a the cobalt is the next one. That looks quite purpley that one. It doesn't have a name on it. It's slightly bluer than that one. I'm going to have to have a look at that one. Um, that one looks like a turquoise one too. Oh, that's a Windsor blue. I'm not sure what, I can't remember what a Windsor blue does. So I'm going to put the greens can go there. So the olive wants to go at that end. Oh, they're so sticky. My own fault for keeping them in such a mess. I think I may need a brush. And a piece of paper. So let me just have a look at this one. That's the Windsor Blue. That's a bit purpley, yeah? That's an ultramarine. That's like a cobalt blue, so we're getting a bit colder. It's a cobalt blue, but I don't think it's the same. And again, I thought I'd put them in here because I would use them 
rather than if they're stuck somewhere and then this one that's a cold a very cold blue that one so it's to go that side so I think we're just about done with the blues and this is what you have to do that's like a viridian oh it says Windsor but Windsor is like viridian is this one looking that's a pale one as well so we've got a pale So you can put them any colours you like. I just like, I like this particular colour. Now, there is little ridges, so these will sit in quite nicely. So, um, I can put... So I put my yellow ochre there. Um, actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to move that. I'm going to put my red, my ready browns, my red mudders, and the red browns there. So my warm browns. And I'm move that up. I will put that because it's the only one I've got. It is quite cold. It is quite cold. That no, I change your mind. So we want the ready browns next. And they're called different things by different companies. Van Dyke Brown is the very dark one. Got those three. Uh, and again, I'm putting them in because I want to use them really. So this one is a sepia. So that's that one is burnt sienna. So that's a red. Oops. So I need to get three in. my brown madder so that is a darker brown so I'm going to take that one out and put that one in I've only got one sienna so that's a bit um, so I'm going to move I'm going to move them up now some of them are smaller than others oh you want to go in there for this one. I think it's the sel selenia. Oh no, it's whichever one it is, it doesn't want to go in there. So they're in anyway. So that's a Windsor and Newton one and I don't know what that one is. So I've still got some quite nice colours in there. So I've got 48 but they're my professional ones. And I can put those in there. I'm not bothered about black because I've got Van Dyke Brown and um, French Ultramarine. And that makes a very dark colour. Um, Payne's grey, but if you make it strong enough, it's very dark. I'm just trying to think if I could get these two in. get the orange in didn't I? and that's obviously cadmium yellow um, so I can put those in that little tiny one you have a look at this 
So what's this one called? I'm going to take that one out. So I'm just going to wipe that a little bit. You can tell that the Viridian greens are very strong. So I've swatched out some student grade um, that are brand new so that I can use these first because the others will be fine as long as I keep them dry. Um, and then I, I don't think I can get the water brush in. It'll have to be my my travel brushes that I can put in there. And that's all set for me to go away. Oops. And you'll find that the colours are very strong. And I can put these into this one. And if truth be known, this is where they came from anyway. Just pop in. There is um, a little metal thing that's catching it. And I did want to put them in this one. And I was going to make my own colours up, but I need to get rid of those first. Because there's no point just making more colours when I've already got lots of colours. So these two metal ones can stay at home because they're kind of heavy to hold um, and I can either take my water brush so that's another little job done so when I open them they should all sit behave themselves so there's quite a good array there I've got quite a few yellows quite a few reds quite a few pinky reds four greens sorry six greens there's some here uh, browns dark browns cold browns and some very dark browns so um, if i want a black i just have to mix those three together and i can get a, a pinky black i can get um, a cold black or a brown warm black depending on how what i use so i'm not particularly bothered about black and i certainly don't need white because all i need to do um, is to is to if you're doing watercolors you leave pure white paper pure white and you can make the darkest dark and by adding water to any of these will make it lighter as if you were adding what white to it just got to make sure it's all clean so all I need to do now is is have a play have a play um, I did like this set so I think I've now got three sets ready to use so even though you buy these if you if you want a good palette as long as it's a half pan the big I can't open that <laughs> I can't open that one so I thought I'd just show you how to swatch your colours in a palette. Thanks for watching. Oh goodness.